Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you how to set up this Amazon Dash Smart Shelf. So they just released these Smart Shelves. This is what it looks like. Here's the dimensions. This is the 12 by 10. It's basically like a scale that's going to weigh whatever you put on top of here. It does have a button on the front. On the back it does hold batteries. Four AAA batteries. It had a little piece of plastic you got to remove in order to activate the unit. It's got these nice rubber feet on the bottom. And then it's got this micro USB on the back. Again, it's like a, it's going to be a scale. There's not much movement in the scale. It's pretty much all plastic, but it feels like a very nice plastic. It does come with this very nice manual. Looks like it's going to be very easy to set up turning it on, how to connect it. You're going to connect this to your Alexa device and the app. You're going to have to use the app. So it looks like you can use wall power instead of batteries. It's either battery powered or that's what that USB power on the back for. But that power adapter is sold separately. Okay, set up. It says we got to turn Bluetooth on our phone on. And then it looks like we're going to be using the Amazon shopping app. Okay, so the, the front LED button, we got to make sure the device is on. So it did, it did power off on me. So I got to, I got to press that button again. Blue means it's connecting to Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. White is connected. Uploading inventory between, and then you got yellow, then green. Successful recalibration. Red is not connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, so we got a, that white light turned off on the front of the unit. It did turn off on me. So we got to make sure you press that button and it's flashing. Flashing means the device is on. Blue means it's connecting to Bluetooth. We got white solid. That means it's connected and you're all ready to go. You've got white flashing, then green inventory. Yellow flashing, then green successful recalibration. And red, it means it's not connected. Okay, so they want you to make sure your, your Bluetooth is on, but I haven't seen the device show up yet. So now they want you to go into the Amazon shopping app. Okay, so it's a little tricky to find. So click the three little lines and it's going to bring up a bunch of these things and these are kind of like where you shop. But click Devices and Electronics. That's what you want to find. And then it's going to bring up these. you got to go down here. Smart Reorder Devices. That's where it's located. So it's under Devices, Smart Reorder Devices. Right now I've got my printer hooked up to it. I'm going to set up a new device. So for some reason it, it didn't work on my tablet. So I had to switch to my phone. So now I'm doing a screen recording of my phone. So click on set up new device. And there it is. What type of device are you setting up? Uh, this one that they sell three of these smart shelf dashes. I've got the 12 by 10. So I'm going to click that set up your smart recorder device. Make sure there's nothing on the device. Okay, and I'm also going to go over to the device and make sure I've got it on and that white, that white light is flashing on the front. I'm going to click Next. Yeah, put your device in pairing mode. Press the button on it for five seconds. Okay, so i got to press that button for five seconds. Okay, so the light changed to blue. Now the light is blue on the front of the device after holding it for five seconds. I'm going to click Next. Allow, Allow, Allow Access. Yeah, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it set up for that. So hopefully it's going to discover, but for some reason it wouldn't do it on the tablet. Now I got to select my Wi-Fi. That is my Wi-Fi. It's already got my password for the Wi-Fi in there. You may have to enter in your own password. Okay. It said it worked. The smart shelf is connected. Click next. Now there's like a setup procedure. Now the white, the light turned to steady white on the shelf. Okay, so I'm going to use this for dog. We got a uh, Purina One dog food. So I, I had to type it up in there in the search column and hit the search button. And this is what I've been ordering is the Purina One wet dog food. I'm going to hit the, I'm going to click next. I'm going to hit select. Confirm details. Do you have the products you selected? Yes. 
I'm going to click yes. I've got the product already. Put your product on the Dash Smart Shelf. Okay, I've got the dog food on the Smart Shelf. Click next. Upload your initial product weight. Yes. Now press the button on the front of the device for one second, then release. Okay. The light will flash white for up to 20 seconds, and then turn green, and your inventory will update below. Okay, that's what's happening. Okay, it turned green, just like it said. Now I'm going to click Done. Okay, so I was screen recording. I wasn't able to show you what I was doing. So um, I put the dog food on there when it told me to, and then I pressed that button when it told me to for just one second, and then it flashed like 10 times, and it turned green, which it means it calibrated it. So now it sees that as full. This is, I've got all 12 cans on here. And now as I take a can off, it should record, uh, it should see a weight difference. Okay, so now I, I'm gonna go back to my tablet now. So again, under, in my tablet, you've got devices that could click the three little lines on your shopping app, devices and electronics, and it's smart reorder devices. Click that. There's my Epson printer. Now I've got this first dash device. Okay, so it gives me some stuff or some information. I want to edit that name. I want to call this the, the dog food. Click done. Okay, so I was able to edit the name. Okay, so then it says the Smart Recorder Amazon Reorder Point. I'm going to click that. So here's where I can select um, Smart Reorder. We will automatically place an order when your supplies are running low. I can do it. I can tell it just to notify me. It won't do the order. Or do not re reorder or notify. And then down here, I can choose Amazon Recommended Reorder Point. We'll choose when to reorder or percentage. Then this has got like a sliding scale. So if it, if it gets below, if it gets below 40%, then it will reorder by weight. I can slide that scale, but, or I can let Amazon choose. And then down here, I got hit select. So this part of the app is pretty neat. It does show me exactly what uh, the price is, what it is I'm going to be ordering. It's six 13 ounce cans. It even tells me, so my smart shelf is at 100% right now. And it does have that feature where if you want to add or remove a container, you may have to zero it. So for some items, you're going to put a container on there, and then you're going to zero the scale so that it won't measure the container. It'll only measure what goes in the container. And what you're going to do is put the container on there, press the button on the front of the device four times in a row, wait for the yellow it's going to flash yellow, then turn green. That means your container is ready to use. And if, if you want to stop using the container, press it four times again. Okay, so let's play around with it. Let's take some dog food off. Ooh, let's see what happens. Okay, so I took that dog food off. Now, it doesn't update automatically. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for it to update, but it hasn't shown um, a weight difference. It still says it's at 100%. Okay, so I read the directions. The smart shelf will automatically upload the weight of your product once per day on the battery power and once per hour on wall power. If you want to keep closer tabs on your supply, you can upload the weight in between automatically. Just press the button once and wait for the light to flash. Okay, so if I don't want to wait, I can press the button once. It says wait for it to flash and then turn green. Okay, it's flashing. And then it turned green. Okay, so let's go back into the Amazon. Let's go back into the app. Smart reorder devices. Okay, so by pressing that button, it does sense that it went down to 50%. Okay, so it did, it does work. And I removed, I removed exactly 50% of the dog food, so it worked. 
So I think this is going to be a pretty neat device. I'm pretty anxious to, to uh, start using it. I hope this video helped. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks everybody for watching.